We're recording. And the camera's on you. Oh, thank you for the information. I thought we were doing a mic check. No, nah, we're good this time. Okay. Definitely nothing will probably happen for sure, maybe. Sounds very government of you. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why don't you fill this form? And then do it again. Her feelings report. It's a real thing. It's a real thing that we made Are up. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> no, it's a real thing that we made up. I'm trying a new thing. I'm trying to be a little bit closer to you. I don't know you to see what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Just okay. kidding. You can see. You can watch. The audience loves you. So. So. The new video looks good. With crispy. Crispy. Yeah. That's like my wallet after paying for Chloe's birthday party. Crispy. Burn, burned out. Burned on fire. To a crisp. Um, we're recording out of order. This is episode 11. Mm. Episode 11. So if you're like, man, they were the same clothes on episode 9 as they did on episode 11, but not on episode 10. It's because we're recording on Tuesday. It's also 20... because we only own three outfits. Uh, that's not true. I rotate out four hoodies. Okay. About eight t-shirts. Then there's always a t-shirt that I find in the back of the closet that I've worn forever and it gets re-entered in the rotation. Okay. Or I put it on and I'm like, I don't remember, does this fit or not? And it definitely does my doesn't. Does my belly show or not? If the answer is no, I'll wear it. But again, we're going back to the inconsistent sizing. Hmm. Sure, the inconsistent size. Do you remember that? Do you remember that shirt? Um, I think you might have got it for me. Um, it was a black rifle shirt. I had two versions of it, and like, it only like shrunk on like one side, so it it shrank like on the torso. One side was perfectly long, and the other side's like shorter. Yes, I remember your lopsided shirt. Yeah, it's and I'm, it's not a. It's not a black rifle thing. It's the next level mm -hmm. that makes the blanks. They just have in, an inconsistent product. You know, I reached out to them to replace it, right? I I don't. That's why you have two of them. Uh, there you go. Mystery solved. It's not a mystery. It was a mystery to me because I just I, don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> but I definitely told you. I let them know that there was inconsistencies. People can see that my hand is underneath the table. And that as much as I love you, nobody needs to see your belly. Rude. That's exactly what I told them. Some people want to see my belly button. Nobody needs to see that. Somebody wants to see it. I'm sure there's somebody. Somebody's got that fantasy or that kink. Do people think that belly buttons are cute? Is that a thing? I don't know. <laughs> all right if we get a thousand subscribers then i'll show them my belly button there you go only the belly button only the belly button and andrew will show his as well youtube thousand subscribers we'll, we'll compare belly buttons yeah we'll, we'll, we'll make a poll because i can do an Who's image poll better? yeah i can do an image poll well so he has this any belly button that is so any because he has such an external belly whereas i don't have an external belly so mine's just flat okay okay <laughs> all right so episode 11 episode 11 he's wrong she's right podcast yeah let's do it what are we chit-chatting about pet peeves oh ah. uh. And shitty ass kids. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That was fun. Yeah, that was real fun. Well, which were... order are we going in? I don't know. We'll we go ahead and take care of that one first. So, Chloe had her birthday party here a couple of days ago. We had lots of lovely children over, all twelve year olds. That tween angst. Yeah. 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 The hormones. So many hormones. Attitudes. 
Yeah. I'm not saying negative attitudes. I'm just saying like, yeah, there's character. Maybe not good character, but or maybe a good. I don't know. I mean, I would say overall, her group of friends are definitely some good people, but doesn't matter how good you are. Apparently, at 12 years old, you're still a shitty ass kid. I wasn't. I was a perfect 12 year old. I don't believe that for a fucking second. I was. Just look at me now. Um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, I was taught that when you go to somebody's house, doesn't matter if you're four years old, 12 years old, eight years old, 15 years old, you always say thank you to the adult when it's time for you to leave. That's the bare minimum. Bare minimum is thank you. Exactly one child out of the entire group said thank you before ducking and running. Yep. I mean, you were asleep for all but one. Yeah. But yeah. Parents came to the door. I tried to beat them to the doorbell so that you wouldn't wake up. And didn't work about two times, three times. And then their kids came downstairs and ran out the door. Never said anything to me. Just ran straight to the car. Right from Chloe's room, right to the car. And I think this is probably the only thing that we agree on. Saying thank you is the bare minimum. Yeah, right? absolutely. Yeah. So, please, teach your children to say thank you. That is the bare minimum. I make them doll it up. Yes, please. Oh, absolutely. No, thank you. Absolutely. I appreciate your time. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Do you remember when, um, a couple of years ago, when they would say no, they didn't want some food or, uh, I'm talking about our kids. Somebody didn't want some food or something like that, so they would say no. And I was like, you mean no, thank you. And I think it was Cash and maybe Charlotte both thought that if they said no, thank you, rather than just no, it meant that they didn't have to eat or drink whatever was being presented to them, that they could have some other option. <laughs> well, it, it actually has progressed. And so uh, when they do a task that has been asked of them, we are expected to say please and thank you and you're welcome. You're welcome. Please take the dogs out. Please and thank you and you are welcome for taking the dogs out. Hey, that is what we are expected to say. But it's also teaching them to expect that of other people, their peers and if somebody... You're welcome for my existence. I'm saying <laughs> I'm saying it, 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 it's teaching them that you know, if their peers or anybody else is asking them to do something, the least they can do is be polite about it. Mm -hmm. Would you like to go break in and do some crazy ass shit please and thank you and you're welcome exactly <laughs> so yeah please and thank you and you're welcome teach your children to manners. not be shitty manners please Basic. No, more, no more shitty kids none of them did anything bad yeah no nobody broke absolutely anything absolutely not they they were all so well behaved so the sweet of Chloe's room the B.O., but so sweet, but no manners. I need, I want. Do you think it's a result of going to that specific school? Because they all go to the same school, right? Yeah, they all are at the same school, in the same class. No, it's just not a school thing. It's a parent thing. That's why I'm talking directly to the camera. But, but some people think... That by sending their kids to school, they're supposed to be developed and groomed and taught. Are you and... saying that people send their children to school and expect them to be parented at school? Yeah, absolutely. In place of being parented at home? And or in addition to, yeah. No. There are people that think... The other, you know, between their taxes and whatever else, and they're not home because they have to work 
their nine to five job. I have to work too. I know, but I'm saying that these people think that, okay, I put you on the bus, see you in eight no, hours. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. These teachers are just kind of trying to keep our children alive. They are not instilling manners as well. They are severely underpaid, severely understaffed. Whose fault is that? The government, obviously. Okay. I'm not disagreeing, but... North Carolina is ranked... Actually, I'm very curious. What are we ranked at now? I don't know. You mean education or teacher pay? Education. I have no idea. Not my chair, not my problem. That's what I say. I think I'm going to reroute my microphone cable for the next one. I don't like that it goes that way and it's in my way all the time. It'd be nice if it went up the boom, but the cord's not quite long enough. And I'm just still looking this up, so I'm talking to fill the, the number void. Number 17 overall. I am actually genuinely shocked. Number 17 in quality or number 17 in shit? Uh, this is according to... Uh, this is, again, we don't click on anything. We just look at headline. U.S. News. Well, that also is the average of the state. Okay, but here from 2023, it says North Carolina ranks 35th in student success, 44th in school quality, and 38th in student safety. None of those numbers mean anything to me. They're on the bottom half, making them the worst in the country. Right, but then North Carolina ranks number 14 in overall education freedom. The fuck does that mean? Right. So, like, uh, there's no one ranking system to go off of here. You're allowed to come to school today and you choose the subject that you learn. Actually, that is kind of why I chose the school that my children go to. There's no curriculum. You come here. You want to learn about? You want to learn about OnlyFans and oh OnlyFans teachers? Oh my God, no! There are definitely rules. You know, there's a guidelines. scandal somewhere going on that we so, haven't heard about yet. So here's here's a good story dating my children's school back to when my brother went there. Um, his class, social studies class, was asked. All right, what do we want to learn this year? What 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 is what is important to learn? And I think this was either fifth or sixth grade, I can't remember. And they all decided they were gonna start at 9-11 and work their way backwards because in all of the social study classes leading up, they started at, you know. Civil War. How old was your brother when he went there? He went there his entire elementary and middle school. And how old is he? He's six years younger than me. So do the math. He'll be 30 this year, I believe, or next year. Yes, that ages me. I think he'll be 29 this year. Okay. So like 15 years ago. Sounds about right, yes. Um, so anyways, uh, they started at 9-11 and they worked their way back each event prior rather than working their way up because all of the classes leading up to that, they never got anywhere near current events and they all wanted to know. So there was freedom within that and apparently that ranks in North Carolina. I was alive during it. We watched it in my... Um, electrical engineering and CAD classes, big projectors, and while we were supposed to be, we watched all the bombing raids and stuff. On I assume school. you're talking about nine eleven. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, GWAT, global war on terrorism. Okay. I watched it too. I was in art class in seventh grade. Did you draw the war? Uh, no, we were all paralyzed. 
I'm not talking about the towers falling. I'm talking about the invasion and stuff afterwards. Because that was like two years later. That didn't start until like 2003. No, I don't remember watching anything other than the towers coming down. We were taking our standardized testing when when it happened. Oh. Mm-hmm. That put that at a stop, I'm sure. Um, were you guys expected to continue? I believe we. I believe we finished. I don't remember. I really don't remember. I just remember that's when it was. Where were you all during 9-11? Probably watching it. Or not alive yet. 9-11 is old enough to drink. Oh, gosh. That makes me feel really old. I feel like I was in seventh grade just three or four years ago. I don't. But that's a function of the fact that I can't remember any of it. So I don't feel like I was there because this is all simulation. Birds aren't real. This is all a simulation. Birds aren't real. So this marriage isn't real. No, the marriage is real. That's good to know. No, the marriage is real. The marriage is real. It's the only thing that's real. I'm not real. But the marriage is real. (laughs) Hey, make it make sense to me, guys. It can't make sense. That's that's what makes it funny. <laughs> you know I'm right. They know I'm right. So anyways. Anyways. Don't raise shitty kids. Don't do it. Pet peeve. Let's talk about pet peeve. Well, Matt, that is a pet peeve. Okay. That is pet peeve. And don't, don't let your... people who have shitty kids. Don't let your kids start into their bully phase. In elementary school. Oh my gosh, yes. Did I tell you that Charlotte is getting bullied? No, I didn't know anything about that. This is the first time hearing about it. Yeah. By boy, girl, a group of people? It's a girl. She's brand new also. This is her first year there. So part of me wonders if that's why she left her last school or this is what she's doing to stake a claim. One of the two or both. Could be both. How is she being bullied? Um, well, she called Charlotte a bitch, and she told Charlotte that, and this is somebody who has played with her and had lots of games with her over the last couple of months. All of a sudden, nobody likes you, and we all think you're stupid, and um, just, you know, that eight-year-old, nine-year-old nonsense that is... Uh, manipulation tactics to get other people to single somebody out and no longer want them as part of their group. Are you the only one that she's told? Or is this being handled at the school? It's being handled at the school because of the escalation that this other girl has taken it to, singling Charlotte out and this one other little girl that they all were in a... Can I go meet the dad? I believe there is not a dad in the situation. Well, problem solved. Or mystery solved. The problem's not solved. The problem's still there. Right. The problem is still definitely there unless you were proposing that you were to become the dad <laughs> because you just said problem solved <laughs> that she didn't have a dad in her no, life. No. Problem solved. Andrew's here. Daddy problems. Yes, Andrew is stepping in on all the daddy problems. So on next episode of OnlyFans, daddy is here. Yep, there we go. Discipline. Military joke. I'm sure everybody wants to see you spank me, but that's not happening. There's slow motion video on Facebook still, I'm sure. You got to find me on Facebook. I, I thought you told everybody not to. So my, my, my profile is still uh, not recommendable. So I'm not in trouble anymore, but I don't show up in search. Not recommendable. Yep. That's that's their polite way of saying that you are actually ghost banned. I am actually ghost banned. Like most of my content doesn't get seen unless I tag people right now specifically. Mm-hmm. You know how many reactions I would typically get. Especially if I posted a picture of you and I together, 
100, 200, 300 sometimes. Okay. Right now I'm getting between zero and five on pretty much everything. And it's the same people consistently over and over again. Oh, but yeah, I've, uh, I've tried to look up my profile, even like on search, cause I have it enabled where, you know, my profile's indexed. If, if I have public posts, it doesn't come up on search. I wonder how many friend requests you're going to get after this episode. Zero. They're not going to be able to find me. And if they do, they won't know which one is actually me. Cause it's apparently there's a lot of people trying to, they, they're not using my pictures yet, but there are people with fake profiles with my name. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. The the Facebook silhouette, there's no profile picture or anything like that yet. That is funny. It's all like three or four of them. And there's uh, one guy that uh, supposedly went to Harvard and he's a professor in Spain. I just saw all this the other day. <laughs> and he just happens to have the same name as you? Exact same name and exact same spelling, yeah. Interdusting. Yeah. Hmm. So, who knows? Who knows? My name's not Spanish, so no idea. No idea why. No idea either. So, do you have to go meet this girl's mom? Um. Well, I told Charlotte to find a new friend. Okay, so for those of you that might be joining us on this episode for the first time and now have listened to some of the other ones, the kids go to a charter school. Mm-hmm. What are the requirements for somebody transferring in? Because you said there's a wait list even for the locals. So how does somebody else transfer into the school if there's this wait list? What are the criteria and requirements? What, is, what does a kid and or parents and or family have to show in order to get... It's a lottery system. So you just have to apply, and you if your number is drawn out of a hat, number is drawn. There's no application. They don't have to meet an interview and see your. I mean, grades. there's an application that goes with your number. But is there anything like teacher recommendations from previous school grades? Not that I know of. No. Seems like that'd be an easy way to keep people like that out. Um, well, this is the North Carolina public education system and everybody is entitled to an education, even if you're a shitty ass kid. It has nothing to do with being entitled to an education. You just shouldn't be able to go to your school You're not your school allowed choice. to discriminate in any regard. Yes, they are. That's what expulsion and suspension is. Okay. And those are for the same purpose. So you could also do it preventatively and it wouldn't be discrimination. That is a gray area that is a tough one. Unless you're saying they're going to do away with those. Is that the direction you think we're going as a society? Doing away with expulsions and suspensions yeah. in general? Yeah, just no more punishment. Um. Everybody just graduates. Doesn't matter. If you passed or not? No. But I could see it being done away with in the elementary and only in middle and high being utilized still. I feel like in elementary in general, yes, a lot of the burden is put on the teacher to essentially be a caregiver during the day. And some of these children... Taxpayer babysitting. Essentially. And unfortunately, it does happen. Hopefully, the mom fixes the problem. She won't, but um, hopefully Charlotte... Finds a new friend. How many people are in her grade? Let's see. Charlotte is in fourth grade. Uh, Fourth and fifth grade, I believe, equally have 22 children per class. And there are only two grades or two classes per grade. So fourth grade would have 44 children if both classes are full. 
I believe. So she can make a new friend. Yes. And she does have other friends, which is who I encouraged her to play with instead. Good. Good. It's too bad there's not a dad so I can go meet him. Mm. Next time. I think you're already scared away. Don't want to say it since she's here. Chloe's girlfriend's dad. Oh, would you like to tell them the story? He's all like 5'3", five, 5'4". Five, Something like that. And then he was wearing a Furman shirt and went to an NC State Furman game three years ago, two, two and a half years ago with Tansy. Mm-hmm. So I was like, oh, I went to the game where they got their ass kicked by NC State. And he was like, oh, it's where I went to school. And then he was wearing a, um, I think it was an Atlanta Braves hat or Oakland, I don't know, something with an A on it. And it looks like the Alabama A. I was like, man, you're just a whole clusterfuck of terrible teams. Man. Was I wearing anything Michigan? I don't remember. I didn't even think about that. Had you put on a hoodie at that point? I don't That's what I'm saying. I don't remember. I don't remember. I was already asleep, so I can't answer that. Guys, I'm sorry. I don't know what he's wearing when I'm sleeping. I cannot help you. I'm just naked. I sincerely hope you weren't naked with six minor (laughs) children additioned into the house. No, I was getting to, I was going to say that I just stand next to the bed naked. Doing that. Over my sleeping body. Yeah. Yeah. I stand on top of the bed. We've got that nice mattress cover. So it absorbs. It's like that commercial. Where they were dropping the bowling ball on the bed and didn't wake the person up and did not call over the bowling pins. So, in this story where a mattress pad cover is coming into play, are you peeing on me or are you jizzing all over me? Definitely jizzing. Okay, because... No golden showers around here. Right. I mean, I was just trying to follow... Where your brain goes, because it was obviously important that you added that we had a mattress pad cover. Well, no, I was talking about the mattress pad itself, the the soft, fluffy part that you're supposed to like sink into, that memory foam, whatever. I'm not talking about the protective cover, weirdo. That's what you said. <laughs> That's a mattress pad. I didn't say cover. Anyways, pet peeves. Oh, my. What's your biggest pet peeve? You existing? No, no. You have to be detailed. Your breathing? They're here for the drama. Well, I have a list of 75 pet peeves that we can go down. Oh, yeah. Where's the list? It's on my phone. Did you really? Okay. (laughs) Let's go. Let's go. She out sad. Number one. Okay. On this list. I did not create this list, just to be clear. What? No. (laughs) This is supposed to be your list. (laughs) You can't just pull up some random (laughs) WebMD type website where they're talking about relationships. and Micromanagement is you coming behind me. Telling me that I can't do my job and that you can do my job better. I don't know what you're talking about, but you gotta elaborate. You gotta give details. Come on. Fine. I was gonna go down this amazing list that somebody had already created and we were going to. I just happened to match everything on the list? Or you were just gonna say, yes, I have this. No, I don't have this. What was your. You happen to match all 75. If you say so. That have already been. Did you write it and publish it? Are you getting paid for this article and you're just going to drop the link? (laughs) Yeah, I bet that's what it is. You were hoping to to get some ad revenue. Darn, darn, you caught me. I know. All right. All right. Let's talk about our our own personal pet peeves then. Okay. You tell me yours first. Oh, why? Because you want to know how far you can take it? I am scared. (laughs) 
genuinely scared of what you have to say about me. I would say my biggest pet peeve mm -hmm. is that you don't actually like feedback about cooking. Okay. You expect It hurts that, my feelings. I'm, but I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. It's never what it has been, never what it will be. But it does. But that's... I, would you prefer that I just always just ate what you put on the plate and smiled and... Um, well, your feedback is critique, um, not feedback in a constructive way of next time. I have said it like that sometimes. Um, sometimes being maybe two times. And you also don't like when I add hot sauce and stuff to things, which has nothing to do a lot of times with what or how you've cooked. It's just that, for example, on chicken. I prefer to put hot sauce on a lot of chicken meals. It has nothing to do with how good or bad the cooking is. Sometimes maybe, but, or the style or seasoning or whatever. It has nothing to do with that. I just want hot sauce because I like that flavor. The chicken is just the vector for the hot sauce. Okay. I would eat it plain if I could just dip it in buffalo sauce, hot sauce. Your turn. I'm just going to put the camera on you until you respond. For the audio audience, you haven't lost us. She's just staring at me, contemplating what she wants to say. Your tone of voice. Right now? That is my number one pet peeve. Right now? Your tone is fine right now. But typically, it's very demeaning. That's not my intent, though. I'm just direct. I believe that there's a difference between being direct and being demeaning. And you are demeaning. I'm sorry. Thank you. I do actually love you. Your tone of voice would say otherwise. Right now? No. I love you. Normally. I love you. I love you too. It took me three times for me to say it. <laughs> well, I, I was talking. Uh-huh. I was trying to explain. All right. What's your next pet peeve for me? Mm. That things have to be done at the exact moment that you want to do them. You don't give people the time or opportunity and a lot of, like yesterday, unloading the dishwasher. The dishes were still scorching hot and you typically don't even unload them that quickly after the dishwasher is completed anyways. You typically wait a little bit, let them finish drip drying, air drying in the heat, and then stack them up, put them away, take them out to finish drying if they're still wet. But if, you do it before somebody else does it, then you get upset about it. Um, and that's the OCD in me. It has nothing to do with right. OCD. You can't get mad at other people because you had the impulse. It's not an impulse. Yeah, it's an impulse. You walk past it and you're like, I have to do this. And then you're like, now I'm going to be mad that I did it. That's why I jump up and I come and try and help you so that you won't be mad. And then I burn my fingers. I'm sorry that you burned your fingers. I felt nothing. Well, that's because you burned all your hand skin in a tragic accident and you have no nerve endings. <laughs> tragic accident? Yeah. No. It's called use of hands. A tragic baking accident. <laughs> so if there's ever a fire... I'm not trusting you to check the doorknob. Okay. Not even once. Okay. Not never. You're going to be like, no, it's fine. It's fine. And then the door's going to open. There's going to be a massive explosion. Mm -hmm. Or you get burned alive. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then you'll walk right through the flames, mm -hmm. exposing your... I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love you. I'm not immortal. I didn't say you were immortal. Demon. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. I'm just kidding. You're such an asshole. I love you. You're an angel. <laughs> oh. What is mine for you? You really have to think this hard? Or are you just going down the list trying to figure out what's next on the list? Yeah. Your incessant throat clearing and coughing it is not ex exclusive to when you are maybe I have, allergies. Maybe or... I have lung cancer. Well, you refuse to go to the doctor, so we will never know until you drop dead. Would you rather know and yes. it still happen? Yes. That would make you happier? That way we can plan accordingly and... If we have a timeline, then live every day like it's your last until it is actually, in fact, your last. I'm never going to die. We've already talked about this. Unfortunate. I'm going to live forever. I'm going to be the first human to make it to like 150. Damn. 150? Mm-hmm. You'll be there by my side, 148. I do not want to live that long at all. That sounds... As Cooper says, torturement. I just saw um, there. I don't, I don't know where it came from, but they were talking about it. I didn't watch or listen to the video. I just saw the thumbnail for it. They were proposing that aging might actually be a disease, and they want to literally reverse aging. It's primarily just your like your telomeres deteriorating over time and up having the ability to grow back so potentially or potentially you'll become a mutated freak get all kinds of weird cancers and yeah. both are plausible okay <laughs> both are plausible both says are plausible. the man who's had all of the vaccines and all of no, the not all of them from the government yeah all the all the army mandated ones where they change the anthrax schedule multiple times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which that cracks me up. The same people that run around saying, Oh, I would never let a drill sergeant yell in my face. I would, I would punch him or whatever. And we're like, no, you wouldn't moron talk. You talk big, but when you're actually in that situation and you could potentially go to, prison or the brig you're not gonna do it what is the difference between prison and the brig um i think it's just exclusive to members of the military i don't know somebody somebody in the corrections will correct us about corrections okay i have no idea i just i've heard the term Used differently. I don't know. Then you also have like Guantanamo. Yeah. Don't you think it's kind of ironic that we have a naval installation on a communist island and that's where we take our prisoners? It's very ironic. So we can get away with more. Mm -hmm. Not these days. Too many cameras. I'm sure. And now they're probably, they probably have redundant cameras now because they can't have another Epstein happen. Mm. Mm. I don't know. I'm sure they still get away with everything, murder included. I don't know about everything, but probably a lot. CIA walks in. Hey, we need to borrow this guy for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Can't tell you what for. Here's the paperwork. See you later. <laughs> and no later comes. Huh? And no later comes. Yeah. And who would care? Mm -hmm. Would you care? No. No, neither would I. If you're there, you deserve to be there. Probably. We hope. Probably. They don't typically just send anybody there. They probably know who you are. They probably know what you've done. Do you think they're watching you? Oh, of course. There's they're they uh, are collecting lists of people who watch specific YouTube videos or listen to certain music or 
search certain topics, post about taxation being theft. There's a big reason why a lot of people like to go around posting um, like their firearms and things like that. Why? And there's, I don't know, because people are like, look, I got this, look, pores. I got a suppressor for my AK. Look, pores. I just got the new FN. People actually say look, pores besides yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't. You think I started that? I'll take the credit. Sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, they'll be like, look, I got all these uh, yeet cannons. And now, yeet cannons? Yeah, that's... Um, that's a real thing? Yeah. Does yeah. Cooper know about this? I have no idea. Oh my God, he would be in heaven. Ugh. They're like the biggest piece of shit, but... Just by the name alone. Yeah. It's like a big clunky piece of plastic and metal and it's not accurate and... What is it yeet? Nine millimeter. Oh... I was thinking you could just put random shit in it, like no. potatoes. No. I'm going to eat a potato. No. No. <laughs> um, sorry. But yeah. Thanks for not clearing your throat. I prefer nobody knowing what I do or don't have for the simple fact that I don't like putting a target on my own back. Same thing as OPSEC. Operational security. Like you're not going to go post online about the mission that you're about to go run. Mm -hmm. Give up the information to the enemy. And in this case, the enemy is the government, potentially. Mm -hmm. Trying to restrict Second Amendment rights and things like that. But yeah. So anytime those trends start, you know what I do post? What? Nerf guns. Luckily, we have lots and lots of Nerf guns. Yeah, so every time I get to respond with a different Nerf gun. <laughs> Target.com, guys. What? No, oh, you're talking about the price. I thought, I thought you were saying 1999 targetcom was a website where people could go get discounted <laughs> Nerf guns or something. I'm like, what are you talking about? We should have a Nerf war on a live stream. against You and me against the kids. They don't want to see that. Of course they do. They want to see two adults completely dominate three, four children. Except that would not happen. It would happen. Not by this adult. Yeah, it would. You hide them in the closet. I've never played with take, a Nerf gun. I'll take, I'll, I'll. I've just bought them all. I've never played with them. I'll take each kid down one by one strategically. Mm-hmm. Anyways, pet peeves. Okay. What's your next one? It's my turn? Mm-hmm. It's your turn. Hmm. Let me think. Let me think. I'm putting the camera on you while I think. I don't know. I don't really have any. Just sometimes when you drink, you get in a mood. You go from happy to sad. That's probably it. Even if nothing in that moment was the cause of the sadness, you dwell on something and then mood completely changes. That'd be it. So, um, no drinking for you. You genuinely don't believe that any external factors play a role in that maybe sometimes i'm saying the, 100%. no no i'm saying sometimes everything else is perfect everything's going good and we're just to relaxing you. To you. but you were perfectly happy and smiling and laughing and then something comes back to your mind and then it completely changes your demeanor and okay i will give you that only when my children do go to their father and I miss them tremendously. And I try to cuddle with you and you're like, get off me, you big fat ogre. 
And I'm no touching pee pee today. <laughs> Ew, if I ever called it that, wouldn't that be such a turn off? Or you're so desperate Maybe. at that point that you're just like, I'll take anything you want to call to my little pee pee. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, I guess we will experiment and I will let you know if he's able to get it up after I call it his little pee pee the whole time. <laughs> and then I'll circle back around about how that's his new pet pee, but I'm just calling this, it. Blue. This is going to be the first clip that I put on social his media. Little, little pee pee. This is going to be the first clip. I'm going to clip this out completely out of context. And this is what's going up on Andrew Instagram. Has a and... tiny little pee -pee. Sure. sure. All right. So I'll let you guys know if we ever have sex again. And I called it his little. If we, if we ever have sex again. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> if you're not watching, you should be watching <laughs> on YouTube. You should watch on YouTube, or and you could because you can put YouTube on in the background. We're also on YouTube Music, not just on the video. That's what Andrew does while he's working. Yeah. He listens to all his peoples. Yeah. And then I forget everything that they said because I wasn't paying attention. Aww. Yeah. And then I watch it again so that I can actually consume it. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes. So if you think about it, you are doubly helping them out. So it looks like. Potentially. They are even more popular than they actually are. Possibly. Thanks to you re-watching our content multiple times because of your inability to consume and work. Well, it just it's like we talked about the other day about the like metal music and stuff like that. It helps me focus. I don't understand. It removes other environmental distractions like me no just everything in general it just it the the constant sound eliminates environmental factors that would otherwise distract me even thoughts like oh i need to do this i need to do that where there's not a specific task i don't know i'm talking about unimportant stuff things that just pop to my mind that's me while we're having sex. You think about things. Do, should we get you some, like a bedside notepad so you can just no, lean? That's my brain. Lean over and write. Okay, as soon as we're done with this, I need to strip the sheets, run everything. Okay, that's just enough time until I have to go pick up the kids. Then when I pick up the kids, we need to hurry back home so I can get dinner prepped. So that way... I have enough time to hurry and go to soccer practice and da 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 da, -da. And I have to do dinner tonight, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I pulled out pork chops. You pulled out? Uh, no. Um, out of the freezer. Uh-huh. I pulled pork chops and chicken mm -hmm. out of the freezer. Okay. And we've got several pounds of potatoes. Okay. And that is what you are going to be cooking for yourself and the children's. Sounds good. Good. And broccoli. Camera's back on you because you got to come up with another pet pe peeve. After we talk about the sponsors that we don't have. Oh, yes. So, somebody please sponsor us. I beg of you. The camera's on you. Do you want to lip sync? I'll talk and you lip sync, make it sound like it's out of visit nonafelps.com. For all of your insurance needs in the state of North Carolina, state of South Carolina, and if you're desperate in Florida and have nobody else to call, go ahead. Give her a call. <laughs> uh, I only take desperate people. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. People in Florida with insurance are getting pretty desperate. Everybody's yeah. pulling out. That's what she said. That is what she said. Um, Technology Center of Excellence, LeeMaxMedia.com. Is that like your new? Yeah, I told you the story behind it. The Maneuver Center of Excellence. Everything is the center of excellence. That's the trend in the Army. Okay. Good to know. 
I don't know where that came from. Maybe I should look it up sometime. I'm sure there's some dumb story involved. Some good idea, fairy. I don't know. Anyways. Anyway. It makes us sound professional. Mr. Professional Business Business over here. Yep. He's wrong. She's right.com. There might be pre-orders for some stuff. There might not be. Some helicopter dick merch. Yep. Okay. Uh, um, Betterwiki.org. For all of your military veteran spouse depend upon needs. Depend upotamus. Yeah. That is super cute. They don't like being called it though. Why? It's basically being called a fat Karen. I mean, it's better than being called a leech, which I thought that was the implication. They're dependent, dependa, dependopotamus because they're fat. Gotcha. Not always. But just like you can... Are you calling me fat? No. You are yes. beautiful with your perfect your, figure. No. no, you got that little itty bitty waist. Her waist is like this, guys. Like I can, I can seriously almost touch my fingers. <laughs> but look at how big your hands are, though. Just whatever. Show them. Come on. Here's up to mine. No difference. Whatever. And that's my that's my thumb to your pinky. <laughs> um, Depend upon me. No, like, you could identify a Marine that's down here from Lejeune in an instant. A thousand percent. You could probably identify their spouse as well. Because they're going to be wearing a shirt that says, you Marine have to salute me. You, no, you have to salute me, not just my husband. But their, <laughs> their rank on it. Yeah, that's a big, that's a, yeah. There are dependents that believe that they are their spouse's rank. What? Yeah. 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 They'll get pissy with you. You you could be, I don't know, going to the commissary or class six. You need to let me get at the front of the line because I'm actually Salute me, my husband's a Fulbert Colonel. A what? That's so you have Lieutenant Colonel, which is an um Oh my God, is it Oakleaf? No, it's not Oakleaf. Do you say full bird colonel? So the so a colonel. So you have lieutenant colonel. That's right below that. Then you have these Kurt. all sound like buckets at KFC. Maybe a missed opportunity. Um, I mean, it's yeah. This is this is the family pack that we're getting here. Yeah. The fur, full bird colonel yeah. at KFC. So it's just okay. it's just a differentiator, like. If you say colonel, people might be like, lieutenant colonel or colonel colonel. So people just say full bird colonel. Okay. And the the rank insignia is a bird. So that's where it gets bird from. Okay. Chicken? No. Eagle. Fried chicken. Fried eagle. I can't see. <laughs> um... We're talking about dependas. Dependapotamus. Yes. Yeah. Do you have any other pet peeves? We're at about 50 minutes. Mm. What's the one that you want to end the show on? Come on. Transition. There we go. Now it's on you. They're waiting. Well, we're waiting. Remember Happy Gilmore? No, I don't remember that. Jeez. I know. I <laughs> failed you. Is that an additional pet peeve that you have of mine? No. That I no. don't intake movie quotes the way that you do? No, because it means that I get to give you my interpretation of it and you can't correct me because you've never seen it. <laughs> no, I I do remember watching that movie. I, meant, I just don't I meant, remember line for line. I meant overall, 
the fact that you haven't seen a lot of movies that I've seen. Gotcha. Okay. I mean, boys are gross. So, like, just all your grossness. All my grossness. Yeah. Just all the gross things that boys do. I'll just be very vague in that. So that way we don't tear each other apart. But boys are gross. I won't tear you apart. Boys are gross. I'm here to listen and learn. Yeah. Boys are gross. Just not me. Every other boy. That's why you married me. I love you. I love you, dude. This is then episode 11. If you're watching this, hello. Hello. Um, hopefully you watched the live stream this past Friday. If you're listening to this somewhere, you probably are wondering why we went from episode 9 to episode 11. We haven't recorded episode 10 yet at the time of recording this. And this one is going to be aired on Monday. Monday. Yep. Okay. So I hope you guys like the new set. Thank you, Ladder, for being a supporting member of our cast. Um, find us on everywhere. Places. Yep. Subscribe, leave a rating and review on iTunes and everywhere else. Uh, share it with your grandma and your pastor. See what they think. Please don't. Please do. Yeah. I want, Just don't share with my mom. I want moms against people enjoying their life <laughs> to promote us by trying to be negative about us i can't believe these sickos are allowed to have a podcast so on the internet basically chloe's girlfriend's mom sure 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 i love you i love you too bye-bye people at home or on your toilet or at work trying to escape the the monotony the cruelty of Monday. Yeah, of your, yeah, of your boss, mm -hmm. or that stinky person sitting next to you. Mm -hmm. Do you have a stinky person sitting next to you? Yeah, you. Psh, whatever. Boys are gross. Nah. Bye. Goodbye.